Hi, I'm Natasha from NatashaBailey.com and today I'm here with Net Mums to discuss long haul travel with children, child, baby. It's already given me an eye twitch. <laughs> now, first things first, I do have a confession. Max's first flight was when he was eight months old and it was a 15 hour flight. It was dreadful. This half term, we're actually planning to go to New York. In between that trip and this trip, we've learned a lot along the way. We've made many mistakes, but we've also got this packing down. So I wanna share with you what we do to survive a flight that's not with any of your things and away from your house and your comfort zone. First things first, backpack. That's right, kids can take their own hand luggage, so take it and you fill it with all their favourite things. And the things to kind of pack in that backpack are anything that's going to help you survive the flight. Pack everything and anything you can think of that they might want or that you can bring out in a emergency situation. I'm not talking planes going down, I'm talking tantrums going down. Anything you can use, you pack it. Of course, we always take the fourth member of our family, the iPad. On here, we have his favorite shows downloaded, and we also have lots of kind of coloring apps or drawing apps, so all entertainment is covered. And then if you're taking this, you definitely need these, which are just some kid-friendly headphones. No one wants to hear your kid's iPad, especially you. Depending on how long you are traveling for, planes can get cold, hot, the temperature is all ski whiff up there. And also if you're in the UK and it's cold and then you're landing in a hot country, you just don't know ever what to expect. So I always pack comfortable and practical clothing. Just think layers. So we've got like a thin t-shirt, some joggers, spare pants, and some spare socks. Mainly there for accidents, but this is comfortable to sleep in, comfortable for mad dashes to the loo, and then also very handy change of clothes for when we land. We always pack a spare pull up on the flight because one, if he falls asleep, we quickly whip this on him and there's no chances of an accident. And two, it is handy to have these because it's always when we're just about to land or we're just taking off that he decides he needs to go. Slip-ons are magical shoes when you're going through airport security. Slip them off, you're through, you're on the other side, you're duty-free shopping, you survived and your sanity's in check. Next up, Cheaty. Cheaty is one of the most well-traveled cheaters on the planet. Now, you might not have a Cheaty, but you might have a pillow or a blanket or some kind of teddy, the comfort teddy. A Cheaty will help me in a tantrum situation. We're a team. We're a team. If the worst happens and your kid gets sick of the iPad, you need a couple of other ideas up your sleeves. I always pack these little cards with us. We're hardly doing a game of poker up there, but it's good if he wants a memory game or we can have a quick game of snap, but you've got something else and that's what's important. Kids magazines are amazing. They've got so much activities in and they always come with some kind of toy. So this one, he built the Lego and this is brilliant because it's got games in, it's got coloring in, it's got comics in. So it's basically like a little activity book that he hasn't seen before and that was £2.50. Nine times out of 10, Lego have saved the day. And I can't leave this video without addressing the elephant in the room that is other people and your children. We've all been there, your kids kicking off or crying, your baby won't sleep, everyone else is asleep, and the other people will start getting agitated. The best way to get through it, honestly, is to disengage, and I know it can be the hardest thing to do, but keep you're calm because chances are if an adult is complaining about a child being a child and quite clearly you are trying that that person is acting like a child themselves just let it go disengage and disembark so there you have it my top tips for traveling with mini human on a plane i hope this serves you well you have safe travels thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to net Mums, and i'll see you in my next one bye